permutations. Let's have example number one. Determine all the possible four-letter arrangement in the word love. Using listing method, from the word love, we have letters L, O, V, and E. So we can have the arrangements as L, O, V, E. We have also L, O, E, V. This one is different from the first arrangement. It's because our V here is the third letter. Unlike in this one, the third letter is E. The same manner with the fourth letter, this one is E. On this one, we have letter V. So again, we have the arrangements L-O-V-E. So that is one arrangement. We have another arrangement L-O-E-V. We can also have L-V-O-E. L-V-E-O. L-E-O-V. L-E-V-O. And so on and so forth. So using the listing method, we can have here 24 arrangements. Now using the tree diagram, if the first letter is L and the second letter is O, we can have V or E as the third letter and the fourth letter could also E or V. So in this way, we can have two arrangements. In the same manner, our L is the first letter, the second letter is V, so we can have O or E as our third or fourth letters. And then we have another two arrangements from here. If the first letter again is L, but this time we use E as the second letter, so the third letter would be V or O, and the fourth letter could also O or V. So we have another two arrangements. So in total, we have six arrangements of the letters from the word love if the first letter is L. The same way, if we use O as the first letter or V or E, we can also have six different arrangements. So we have six plus six plus six plus six, there will be 24 arrangements. Now we can also find for the arrangements using the fundamental counting principle. So since we have four letters from the word love, the first letter, we can have four different choices. We can use L, O, V, or E. Now, let's say we use L here. So, for the second position, second letter could be either O, V, or E. So, there are three choices. Let us say we use L and O here. So, we can have V and E. So, we have two remaining choices for the third letter. And then, let's say we use V here. We can have only one choice for the fourth letter. So, in this manner, we can have four choices times three choices times two choices times one. So, that is four times three is 12 times two is 24 times 1 is still equal to 24 arrangements. So from this given example, this is called as permutation. This is an arrangement of objects in which order is important. So again, we determine the different permutations as by listing or using tree diagram and as well as the use of fundamental counting principle. We have what we call linear permutation. 
It refers to the number of ordered arrangement of objects in a given line. So we have the permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So again, we have this symbol, NPR, or it could be the permutation of n objects taken r at a time will be equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on until we have n minus the quantity of r minus 1. Now we can simplify this part. So n, this one is minus, then we distribute to r so that becomes minus r. Then negative times negative becomes positive. So we have n minus r plus 1. And then let's say we divide the whole by n minus r factorial. The numerator would be equal to n factorial. So it could be n factorial over n minus r factorial. So the formula in finding the permutation of n objects taken r at a time will be n factorial over n minus r factorial. So the number of permutations of objects taken r at a time again will be n factorial over n minus r factorial, wherein our r is between 0 and n. So let's have example number 2. How many three-letter code words can be formed from the letters of the word ratio? So from this word ratio, we have R, A, T, I, and O. So we have five letters and we only need to find for three-letter code words. So our given, we have the total number of letters, which is five. Then we need to take three at a time, we need to find for 5t3 or the permutation of 5 objects taken 3 at a time will be using the formula n factorial over n minus r factorial. So by substitution, we'll have 5 factorial over, because 5 is n, over 5 minus r is 3 factorial. So the 5 factorial could be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or simply 2 factorial because we have 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 factorial. So this one can be cancelled. So the remaining will be 5 times 4 is 20 times 3 is equal to 60. So therefore, we have 60 ways to arrange the letters from the word ratio if we need to take three at a time. The permutation of n objects taken all at a time. So again, the formula a while ago is n factorial over n minus r factorial. But since we need to take all at a time, that means our n will be equal to r. So we can say that we have n, p, n, or your r is the same with our n. So by substitution, your r here becomes n. So n factorial over n minus n is already 0. And then 0 factorial is equal to 1. So n factorial over 1 will still be equal to n factorial. So the formula in finding the permutation of n objects taken all at a time will be n factorial. Let's have the formula again that is n factorial and example number 3. In how many ways can 7 athletes be arranged in a straight line? So we have 7 athletes. So our n is 7 the same with our r. So we need to find for 7p7 or the permutation of 7 objects taken 7 at a time or all at a time. So we can use the formula n factorial. So by substitution, we have 7 factorial and that could be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that is equal to 5040 ways. We have what we call circular permutation. 
when the things are arranged in places along a closed curve or circle in which any place may be regarded as the first or last place, we form a circular permutation. So if n objects are to be arranged around the circle, so the number of permutation of n different things is n minus 1 factorial, or that would be equal to n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 and so on, as we have 2 times 1, or simply n minus 1 factorial. Let's have example number 4. In how many ways can 7 people be seated at a round table? So we have the given n, or the total number of people, which is 7. So we need to find for the permutation, or circular permutation. So the formula is n minus 1 factorial. So by substitution, we have n as equal to 7. So 7 minus 1 is 6. So 6 factorial now is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Or that would be equal to 720 ways. So the number of permutation of n different things around a key ring. So if we have an example of a key ring or the like, could be bracelet, bracelet rather. So we can have n minus 1 factorial over 2. Or that is equal to n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 and so on. And then we have 2 times 1 all over 2. Example number 5. In how many ways can 8 keys be arranged in a key ring? So since we have a clue here to be arranged in a key ring, so we can have here n as equal to 8. Then we need to find for the circular permutation given a key ring. And then the formula will be n minus 1 factorial over 2. By substitution, our n is 8. So 8 minus 1 is 7. So we have 7 factorial over 2. So that could be 7 factorial becomes 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. And 2 will be now cancelled. So that would be equal to 2,520 ways. We have also what we call distinguishable permutation. So this is the number of permutations of n objects where n sub 1 are alike and so on. And we have n sub k are also alike. So the number of distinct permutation of n objects of which n sub 1 are one of a kind, n sub 2 of second kind, n sub k of a k kind is p is equal to n factorial over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial times n sub 3 factorial and so on. Where our n sub 1 plus n sub 2 plus n sub 3 and so on will be equal to the n or the total number of objects. So let's have example number 6. How many distinct permutations can be formed from all the letters of the word success? So from this word success, we have letter S, which is repeated thrice. Then we have U. Then we have two C's. And then we have E. So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven letters from the word success and we have repeated letters. So again, we have n is equal to 7 letters. Our n sub 1 refers to our s. So there are 3 s's here. And then we have n sub 2 refers to u. There is only 1. n sub 3 refers to c. So we have 2 c's. And then for n sub 4, that refers to our e. We have repeated it once. So we need to find for the permutation or the distinguishable permutation. So what we have to use is n factorial over n minus n sub 1, rather, factorial times n sub 2 factorial, and so on until we have n sub k factorial. So by substitution, we have 7 factorial over 3 factorial times 1 factorial times 2 factorial times 1 factorial. And we all know that 
1 factorial will be equal to 1. So, we can disregard this 1 factorial here. We can have 7 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So, our 7 factorial can be 7 times 6 times 4 times 5 rather times 4 times 3 factorial. Because our 2 factorial is simply 2. So, we still have 3 factorial. It could be cancelled. So, we can have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 divided by 2. So, the answer we have 420 permutations.